How are you feeling about the state and like future of our country right now? Are there any particular, you know, issues or concerns that you're most passionate about right now? Yeah, I, I mean, I think that like I'm, I'm really involved in technology and I'm really involved in politics. And I think where it's intersecting right now when it comes to AI automation and robotics, I think you're going to see the income inequality in this country completely explode, right? Like, and by explode, I mean the gap will increase significantly over the next five to 10 years. Wow. Looking towards 2035, it's going to be significantly worse because the people with money are going to be the ones that are going to be able to use artificial intelligence and automation to make more money, but the people without money are going to lose jobs. So something needs to be done about that. Like no society is going to flourish when you have, you know, 500 billionaires. And I mean, like Elon Musk literally has $500 billion. And then you have the bottom 30% of society, you know, barely clinging on economically, like that's not going to work. And especially it's not going to work if it gets worse, which it is. Um, is there anything that we, we can do? I mean, other, like, obviously speaking up, right. Like raising awareness, um, anything else that people can do to, to help with this issue? You no, know, like there's going to have to be policy changes, but he, he has talked about universal basic income, like giving everybody a, a stipend pretty much based off of maybe taxing these companies that are utilizing AI or automation and automation tax. And then you hear people on the left talk about it like AOC or, or even like Andrew Yang, who's sort of in the middle. And you think like maybe, maybe there is something there and maybe we could actually agree that this would be a positive thing. So something like that might work. But I don't know like what else there is to do if you're going to have, you know, the billionaires becoming trillionaires and the people that are making $30,000 a year are now making $15,000 a year on average. It's, it's not going to work. So unless something happens that is unpredictable that I'm not foreseeing, I think something's going to, we're going to need something.